Stay tuned for the Ashland Eagles and the North Dakota State Bison. That's next. Fred Martinelli has been here before. Let's go down to the field for the flip of the coin. Catch over 15 yards. But what we saw in practice the other day, that the Eagles had a light workout at Dakota Field. They threw a lot of short, quick passes, some to the backs and some shortwards to the receivers. Well, the, that looked like the San Diego Chargers. First time we've seen motion. Burkett in motion. Biondo throws it, and it's picked off by Tyrone Braxton. He's at the 49-yard line, and he stepped right in front of the wide receiver, Chris Harkis. Side linebacker, Ranson. Now on third down and short yardage, Petram has the first down at the 35, has some blockers, and he carries it down to the 21-yard line. It's second down, actually, in less than a yard. Bentram under center, now on the near side. This is Molstry, and he's going to score! James Molstry from 11 yards out puts North Dakota State on the board. A 50-yard touchdown drive in five on Third down and one now from the 25-yard line. Biondo out of the power formation. And very close to a first down, but I don't believe James George is going to have it. And again, Chris Service on the near side from his cornerback spot, along with... He is not a finalist. He's averaging over 40 yards a kick, 41.4. He's a three-time All-American. His longest punt this year. It's blocked! Todd Sable out of West Fargo! And Aaron Noden at the five. It's into the end zone, and it's a loose football. It's going to be a touchdown. Could have had six. <laughs> Jeff Ventram and company on the field now after a penalty against Ashland College on the... Punt return, a personal foul, puts the football at the 36-yard, 20-yard line in Ashland territory again. Bison lead at 7-0. This is Molstry, has big yards inside the 10 to the 5-yard line. First down and goal at the 5. Bentram smells the end zone. Touchdown! Point later on, second down now. Bentram, again, this is Doug Lloyd. He's got big yards. It's a foot race. And Lloyd is going to be pulled down at about the five-yard line. Stark and Molstry, the setbacks. Bentram looking for his first completion of the afternoon. Bentram, he's got Crutchman, he's got six. His first attempt goes for a touchdown to Len Crutchman. Just big plays. <laughs> Biondo being pressured, and Scott Shutt. He knows all away. about the Fargo fans and what they do for this program. And again, this is Owen. There's a flag on the play. Owen unloads a deep one. It's going to be underthrown, and it's going to be caught. Len Kretschmann out of nowhere steals it. Getting George in the slot there. Single setback. Biondo has time across the middle and batted down by Jimmy Dick, intended for Clewart. Bentram back in at quarterback for the Bison after Brian Owen. Had a couple of series. Bison lead it 22 to nothing. 6-14 remaining in the second quarter. This is Bentram. This is Stark. And just running out of a little bit of count now. He's got two receivers to the wide side. This is Molstry. And inside Ashland territory to the 44. Like Tate, the free safety. Reads pass right away, but watch Mike Favor, number 57. Absolutely buries him. Oh, second down, less than a yard. Inside the 35 in Eagle territory. Bentram options short side of the field. Oh, yeah. This is Bolstry. Has the first down and more. And he's trying to cut back and he's going to score. So look at that Bison defensive unit. Their last game of the season was against North Dakota, and they gave up 13 points in that game. That was the most points scored against the herd in any one game this year. Were they mad? <laughs> South Dakota got 12 against the Bison. Of course, they're playing Cal Davis today out in Sacramento. To the near side, George again. Jimmy Dick is there, and also two minutes remaining in the first half. North Dakota State's defense again gets a standing ovation by the folks on the north side today. To proclaim to all the people of North Dakota that today is Jeff Bentram Day. Second down and 10, 34-yard line. Bentram two receivers to the... Wide side of the field, the left of your screen. They run the option that way. Ventram has some room, still has his pitch back. Lloyd down the sideline, and he's out of bounds. Look at Jeff Ventram with the special gloves on. Unbalanced line to the wide side of the field, and Stark goes in motion that way. Student body left. Bolstry looking for the corner. He's got a blocker out in front, and he's got a carry to the one-yard line. 
Watch basically this surge. the same play that he broke Walter Payton's all-time Division II rushing Stay touchdown down. record. For both teams here. Burkett goes in motion, two tight ends. This is George, nothing there. Paul Murray in on the stop. Down. And two yards to go, they're gonna go for it. Biondo. Back to pass, being pressured, and it is picked up! Oh, knocked down! I thought Service had that one for an interception. He's had a good season. He had a 70-yard touchdown run against Morningside earlier this year. Now this is Barta again. And he's out across the 25-yard line. Barta wants the option to the tight end side. Mole Street did a flip. And he's definitely in pain. 18 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. We understand that it is ligament damage to James Molstry's knee. He's out for the game. They don't know if he'll be able to play next week. Biondo in the flat to George, and he pays for it. Ken Kubish with the good coverage that time for the Bison. Bison feel like they've got six excellent offensive linemen. Barta wants to toss it. He does. This is Paulson at the 20-yard line and out of bounds at the 17-yard line. Toshner and Stark are the setbacks, and Barta, they're stringing this one out, but they go to Stark, and he's down to the five-yard line, and Stark very close. First and goal for the Bison after that Stark run. This is Barta to the near side. Touchdown! Gary Barta. Third touchdown of the season. One against Morningside, and the kick is up, and it's good. One against North Dakota, and again, one here today. Bison out in front, 43 to nothing, and we'll be back. That is impressive. This is Joe Williams looking for some room on the near side, and Reeks again. Johnny Reeks. Second down, and let's make it five. Paulson again, and Paulson! Second effort sneaks away from everybody, and he will score. Second down and eight. They have just announced that North Dakota State will host. You know, they had to be yelling about something, and that was it. And I don't care what kind of weather here's next week. These fans will be here. George loses a bunch of yards. And that announcement, of course, and that defensive play has recharged this crowd here this and afternoon. With a third down and four situation, this will undoubtedly be the last play of the ball game. Bison will win this one 50 to nothing as Halassi goes back to pass. And it's incomplete. The ball game is over. So the Bison showing no signs of weakness in any phase of their game. A more than impressive football performance today by North Dakota State heading into the semifinals in their bracket against Central State of Ohio. And both teams registered shutouts in quarterfinal action. Dana Mock is down on the field and he's working his way over and we'll of course have some post-game interviews for you before we leave you today. Central State.